Range test, this is uh, G7LNK, range test, U, uh, VHF. Right, I don't normally do unboxing videos, um, but I thought I'd do one for this radio. I've got a lot of handhelds, a lot of uh, HTs, and uh, this is one of the more recent um, Bafang units. It's been out a little while now, um, but this is the Mark II version, which has some uh, upgrades over the Mark I. Bought two, one for myself, one for a friend. So I put that one to one side. These are really reasonable as well off of eBay. Um, you can pick these up off eBay or Amazon. I think I picked this up for 32 quid, uh, which is really good for a dual band instruction booklet. Check out the packet. Okay, is that going to focus on it? Yep. 7.4 volt, 1.8 amp hour battery. Whether we get that in reality, I don't know. And that just clips in on the underside. On the back plate, it looks sort of, I don't know how waterproof it is, but it looks fairly decent now. There's the car adapter. We have the earpiece. We have the wall charger. We have the whip. We have the belt clip and the base and the lanyard right let's lay it all out so you can see it in one all right these are all my uh, radios from left to right the new gt3 the icom ice 92d that's a d-star radio uh, a bafang uh, uv5r plus the old uv3r the voxen uh, kg uvd one p the Bafang, uh, which model is that one? Is that the 82? <coughs> 82L, the UV82L. We've got the Tomfa UV985 and an old Yace 2 FT60. All really great radios. I'm going to take a few of them out and see how they compare to the uh, GT3. Uh, looking here, we can see the, the elevation between the location and uh, my, my house where the equipment, recording equipment, is located. And we have the same for location B. I got the um, distances wrong. I said one mile and approximately three miles. Uh, it was actually three miles for location A and approximately six miles for location B. Uh, perhaps should have uh, worked that out before I actually went outside. But there you go. So ignore my uh, <laughs> ignore my audio on the video. It was actually three miles for location A and six miles for location B. And you can see on the uh, you can see the elevation profiles on the Google map plots there. This is my setup. We've got a Kenwood dual bander TMV7, uh, and we're just going to drop it down the audio down into a Tascam recorder here so we can uh, pick up the audio of the various uh, places we go. I'm going to use just the standard aerial, we're not going to use any, um, any car aerials, we're going to use the built in antennas on the radio so and see how it goes. Pick the dead of winter, I always pick the dead of winter to do these things. We're about a mile away. About a mile away from uh, from the house, it's over the hill. Is this frequency in use, please? Bafang UV82L, approximately one mile, approximately one mile. Range test, this is uh, G7LNK, range test, U, uh, VHF. Bafang UV82L. Range check, range check, this is Woxon KG UVD 1P, approximately one mile, location A. Range check, range check. This is VHF test, Woxon KG UVD 1P, approximately one mile, location A. Range check, range check. Range check, range check, this is ICOM ICE 92, uh, ICOM 92. Range check, approximately one mile, location A, VHF check. ICE 92D, ICOM ICE 92D, range check, approximately one mile, G7 LNK testing. Range check, range check, this is Bafang UV5R Plus, approximately one mile, location A, range check, range check, VHF. Range check, range check, VHF. It's a Woxon UV5R Plus, approximately one mile, location A. Range check, range check, Tonfa UV985, UV985, location A, approximately one mile, location A, approximately one mile. Range check, range check, Tonfa UV985, location A, approximately one mile, range check, VHF. 
range check, range check, Yesu FT60, location A approximately one mile, location A approximately one mile, VHF check, G7 LNK, portable. Range check, range check, 144200, G7 LNK, portable, testing. Range check, range check, this is the Bafang GT3 Mark II, range check, VHF 144200, G7 LNK mobile, portable. Range check, range check, this is the Bafang GT3, approximately one mile, location A, range check. The second location, this one's, um, this one's uh, probably a bit further away than I thought, probably three miles, three miles or so from the house. But we'll give it a go, we might be lucky, we might not. Let's try it. This is G7 LNK slash portable range check uh, KG UVD 1P 144200 location B approximately three miles range check. Range check, range check KG UVD 1P approximately three miles location B range check. Try a few more. This is G7 LNK slash portable range check. Uh, KG UVD 1P, 144-200, location B, approximately 3 miles, range check. Range check, range check, KG UVD 1P, approximately 3 miles, location B, range check. Range check, range check, location B, Ponfa UV985, approximately 3 miles, location B, Ponfa UV985, DHF check. VHF check, VHF check, Ponfer UV985, VHF check, location B approximately 3 miles. Range check, range check, Yesu FT60, Yesu FT60 location B approximately 3 miles. Range check, range check, range check, Yesu FT60 location B approximately 3 miles. Range check, range check, range check, for Fang UV5R plus. Location B, approximately three miles, range check. Range check, range check, for Fang UV5R plus. Location B, approximately three miles, VHF, range check. Range check, range check. ICOM ICE92D, VHF check, approximately three miles. Location uh, B, approximately three miles, range check, 144-200. Range check, range check, VHF range check, 144200, G7 LNK slash portable, ICOM ICE 92D range check. Range check, range check for FANG UV82L, for FANG UV82L, location B, approximately 3 miles, range check for FANG UV82L. For FANG UV82L, range check, VHF 144200, approximately 3 miles. Bang, the uh, GT3 uh, is the last one. Give this one a try. Range check, range check, Bafang GT3, approximately three miles. Location B, range check, VHF. Range check, range check, Bafang GT3, approximately three miles. Location B, range check, VHF. Range check, range check, Bafang GT3, approximately two miles. Location B, range check, 144200. G7 LNK slash portable. Range check, range check, Bafang GT3, approximately two miles, location B, range check 144200, G7 LNK slash portable. I think that was quite a success, successful test there. Um, there was a slight problem, uh, the Tascam was clipping on some of the, the audio. The, the Yesu and the ICOM are definitely a bit more punchy. Uh, they have a much uh, more punchier sound, a thicker sound. The the cheaper radios have definitely got a thinner, quieter sound, no less audible, but they certainly don't have the same rich sound and punchy sound that the ICOM and the Yesu have. Um, that said, I think the GT3 Mark II is fairly close. It's certainly better than the 5R Plus, from what I can hear, and some of the other cheaper radios that we've got on test there. The KG UVD 1P, particularly thin, I uh, didn't realise uh, that was quite so thin uh, on the audio side there. Um, but uh, no less, they're all great radios and um, they're all, you know, very well, very well priced. I mean, obviously the ICOM is at the uh, top of the range there being a, a D-Star radio. But uh, they all get used, if any, before anyone asks, I, uh, I rotate the usage 
on these radios and uh, they're all uh, always charged up ready to go and they're great fun so but if you're in the market for a cheap radio you can't really go far wrong with the fang and the voxens i probably pronounced that wrong it's wushen or something but um if you've been watching thanks a lot i hope you've enjoyed this test i will do a uhf test on these radios as well uh perhaps get the, uh, the audio set up a little bit better on the task cam for recording okay if you've been watching again thanks a lot cheers range check one four four two hundred g7 lnk slash portable